Hi, welcome to a new workout. Today we're going to do a toning steps cardio workout. So what you need is an exercise step uh, and a pair of light weights. If you don't have a step, you can do this workout without it. So get ready and let's go. Okay, here we go, starting this workout with a short warm-up, then we go over to the main workout and therefore we use the step and the weights. But in the warm-up we don't need the equipment, so I put it away a little bit and what I'm going to do is a side tap. Stand straight up, curl your arms, move them along and just step side to side. We do five warm-up exercises. And then main workout, we use the step using the dumbbell, so it's a toning cardio steps workout. We do 10 different exercises, two rounds, a water break in between the rounds, and we finish with a cool down and a bit of stretching. The moves aren't difficult, you can easily follow along. And like I said in the introduction, if you don't have an exercise step, you can do the exercises without it. It's no problem. Final steps. And then we're going to do a side step with some arm circles, warming up the shoulders right now. So what we're going to do is just a regular side step. And while we do it, arms are going up, circle and bring out. Lift your chest up, make big circles. Warming up the shoulders because we're going to hold those weights 10 minutes in the first round and another 10 minutes in the second round. So circle, up, just a few more and then we're going for the lower body to warm up and get the blood flow going. Up, come on, big circles, reach out above your head. And the last one, that's it. Okay, the next one, leg swings. So swing it up, walk back and swing. And don't swing too high because you're not that warm already. Just swing, march and swing. Try to keep your upper body straight up and get the blood into the legs because we're going to do a lot of steps going up and down on that step up swing up all the needing left and right a few more swings now we're going to stretch the inner thighs a little bit warming up the quads and glutes up and final ones, that's it. Okay, what we're going to do is just a side step, pulse coming up, and we do a side step on the other side. Up. So just make a step, lower your butt down, pulse it up, feel the stretch on the inner thighs a little bit, so you make a big step, and then warming up the quads and the glutes a little bit. That's it, step it out. Pulse it, step it up. After this one, we're going to do just one more exercise and then we're ready. Main exercises. We do 45 seconds on, 15 seconds active rest. Up, right, and left. Pulse it one more time on the other side and that's it. Final exercise in the warm up. We step back and we roll the heel down. Step it back, roll the heel down. So slowly start on your toes and then roll back, heels into the floor, stretching up the calves a little bit. So step it, roll off, roll off. Big step back. Otherwise, you can't feel that stretch in your calf. Hop and roll off, uh, roll off. That's it. We're going to do a couple more. And then we're going to pick up those dumbbells, preparing the step. And 
then off we go. Up, roll off, final ones, on left, on right, one more on each side, roll, and roll, that's it. Okay, now pick up your dumbbells, or take a small sip of water if you need to, prepare your step, I'm going into my corner a little bit, because otherwise I'm going to hit my ceiling, and the first exercise is just the front tap, easy, toes into the step, and while we do that with every tap, we make a bicep curl. So make sure you're ready. There we go. Right tap, left. Right, left. That's it. Main work, how to start it. Curl your biceps. Make sure you keep your elbows still. And just bringing the weight towards the shoulders. And you don't lower the weights all the way down. Just keep the tension on your biceps. Going into a fast pace because we go want to get that heart rate up and tap it. Keep your upper body straight up, pull your belly in and tap it. 10 more seconds and then we're going to do a march on spot so we stay active in those 15 seconds rest. Final taps and that's it. Okay, march on spot or just make a side step but keep moving. The next one we're going to do is a march on and off, alternating left and right. And what we're going to do is front raises. So start with left right now, marching on and off. So you keep the weight up till you step off. That's it. So on, on, off, off. That's it. We can go speed up a little bit. On and off. Place your feet in the middle of the step. Hop, engage your core. Come on, pull your belly in. Raise the weights up on chest height. Arms are slightly bent, wrists are in a straight line. And we have 15 seconds left. On, off. That's it, come on, up, up, down, down. Last one. And that's it, march on spot. Make a side step, stay active. The next one is a front row with a butt kick. So the elbows are going out. Every time we step up, we're kicking the butt and make a front row. There we go, right off first. Up, up, row. So you step up, your standing leg is slightly bent. Curl your rear leg, kick your butt, and row those weights up. 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 Elbows are going out when that weight is going up. Up on chest height. Keep going. 20 seconds left. Up. Kick. And kick. And a row. That's it. Up. And curl your leg. Come on. Working your hamstrings, your shoulders. While cutting that heart rate up. Final one. And marching on spot. The next one is a high knee step. And when every time we lift that knee up, we make a side raise as well. Starting on the right again. So the left knee and the left arm is going to lift. There we go, hop. And now right. So alternating sides, right knee up, left knee up. And when you lift your leg, hop, raise that arm as well. Bring that weight on, shoulder height. Up. Come on, lift the knee up high. Working your lower abs. Keep your upper body straight up. Arms are slightly bent. Raise. Up, lift up. 10 more seconds. Raise it up. Final ones, finish on right. And march, that's it. The next one is a corner knee pull. What are we going to do? Hop. We fly open, lifting the knee up. Great one for the back side of the shoulders. Starting on the left side, we do three knees, then over to the right side. So come on, tap, 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 and switch. Open, open, and switch. So bring that right leg up, and bring that weight towards your knee. Up, fly open, 
and close three times. So start open up, up, three, and switch, open. That's it, come on. Lift that knee up, bend over a little bit, and make that fly, up. 10 more seconds, and switch, and two, three, on left, one, two, three, and time, so, so marching on spot. The next one <coughs> is a front kick, and when we do that, we keep the arms on chest height, and every time we kick, we extend the arm, keeping the elbows up, working the triceps, so come on, right leg, kick with left. Hop. So keep the weights up, hand chest high, elbows out, hop. And when you kick, extend your arms, stretch it out, working your triceps. Up. Come on, kick it. And you don't have to kick high. Make sure your shoulders stay above your hip. Do not lean back. Hop straight up, pull your belly in. Keep your elbows up and extend. Kick, extend. That's it, five seconds. Up, right, find a long left, and that's it. Okay, now we're going to turn the step, and the next one we're going to do is a high knee crunch. So we're going to hop, crunch it, crunch it. So bring the weights on your shoulders or in front of your chest, and we're going to step up, crunch it. Hop, crunch. So really bring your chest to your knee and your knee to your chest with power. And focus on squeezing your abs. Tap it up. That's it. So the upper body is going straight up and then crunch in front. That's it. Hop and crunch it. And bring the knee to your chest. Come on, 15 seconds left. Crunch it up, up. You can even make a little twist if you want, working the obliques a little bit more. Cheers your option. Final one, and marching. Okay, now we come to the side of the step. What we're going to do is a circle with the arms while we're stepping over. So just keep marching, re get your breath a little bit. Just three more exercises and then you have that break. So arms are going out, stepping over and pull, over and pull. That's it, the arms are staying up and just circling from the right to the left side and back while you're marching over that step. Come on, keep the weights up. Belly button in, working your core as well because we're going to move sideways, up. So your shoulders stay above your hips, do not twist over, up. Straight up, tuck the belly in, and just circle your weights from right to left. Watch your step, and final one, march on the spot, that's it. The next one, we start on the step, we're going to tap off, Side to side, we bend over a little bit and make a reverse fly. So come on your step and go tap it off, off. So you go up and down so you can tap the floor with your toe. And every time you reach the floor, make that reverse fly. Arms are slowly bent, ha. And when you make that fly, bring the shoulder blades together. Working the back side of your shoulders and the upper part of your back. Come on, keep that heart rate up, tap it off, and fly, fly, raise up. Make sure you keep your wrist in a straight line. 10 more seconds, come on, don't quit. Tap it left, tap it right. Knees are slightly bent, final ones, and that's it. Okay, over to the final exercise, that's for the chest. What we're going to do is a pack. Deck, so bringing the elbows towards each other, the arms stay in a 90 degree angle, and we're going to step over. So come on, stepping over, off, open, off. Working the shoulders and the chest. Really squeeze those elbows towards each other, hop, that's it. 
and keep your elbows up. So do not lower down, not working your shoulders. Come on, up and close and over. Don't lower down. Tuck your belly in, just 15 seconds left. On and over, on and over. Close, open. Come on, almost there. Don't quit. Last one, and now lower the weight down. Place them on your step, turn your step already for that second round. Because you finished the first round, now make sure you recast your breath a little, drink some water, and then I see you in the next round. Same exercises, and we finish with a cool down. Okay, here we go again for round number two. We do the same 10 exercises. So we start with the taps and the bicep curls. So grab your weights again, upper body straight up. Get ready, three, two, one, and go. Tap it. And again, keep the tension on your bicep. Don't drop those weights too low. And tap it. Time to get a heart rate up for the second round. And curl, working your biceps, toning your arms during this workout. Tap it, tap it. Tuck your belly in, 20 seconds left. And bring those weights towards the shoulders. Come on, curl, tap, curl, tap. Final ones. And that's it. Okay, lower the weights down, stay active, marching on side steps, whatever you want, but don't stand still. The next one is that front raise with the marching on and off, and we hold the weight up till we step off. So, okay, ready? Left side, marching on and off. Right, left, left, right. Come on, hop, hop, and speed it up. Yes, you can do it. Keep your arms slightly bent. Wrist in a straight line and only lower those weights down while you tap off. That's it. On and raise. Bringing the weights up on chest height. 15 seconds. Come on. Right, left. Left, right. Up. Place your whole feet on the step. That's it. Final ones. We can do one more, come on. <laughs> That's it. Okay, the next one is that front row with that butt kick. So curl that leg behind, trying to kick your butt while making that front row, lifting the weight to the chest, elbows going out. Get ready, go, hop, right lift, left. So try to keep that upper body straight up. Do not bend over too much, hop, and row. Elbows going out, weights are going to the chest, hop, and up. Come on, kick your butt, curl that leg, up, right, left, and row, row. Pull your belly in, engage your abs, that's it, 10 more seconds. Up, row, left, right, final ones. Up and staying active. All right, catch your breath a little. The next one is that high knee with the side raise. When you raise to the side, lift on, shoulder height, keep your arms slightly bent and your wrist in a straight line. There you go, stepping right, lifting left. Hop, and of course switch. And come on, bring those knees up. I wanna see high knees, that's it. Don't lean over, don't lean back. Keep your shoulders straight above your hips. Hop. And left. Raise. All right. Raise. Come on. Hop. Tuck your belly in. Keep your back straight. 15 seconds left. Hop. 
Place your feet in center of the step. Raise up. Working the shoulders. Up. Come on, high knee, final one. And that's it. Over to the corner, knee repeater with that opener. That's it, three on each side. Starting on the left side, start with an open move and then bring together. Come on and go. Left, two, three, and right. One, two, three, and left. That's it, turn, two, three, and turn. Ha. Bend over a little bit, open, and make that fly move. Single repeaters, hop. That's it. You're standing like a slowly bend, making that pulse turn into the corner. 15 seconds. And switch. Two. And switch. Up. Come on, pull that knee in, over to the right. And we finished on that left side. Up, two, three, and march on spot. The next one is that front kick. Weights are up on chest height, elbows out, and we extend. Working the triceps and of course the shoulders a bit. Weights are up and go. Hop, kick, kick. And you don't have to kick high, but kick with power. Keep your elbows up, extend. Hop, up, that's it, come on, engage your abs, finding that balance while kicking and stretching out that arm, and left, 20 seconds, right, come on, don't drop those elbows, keep them up, weights are on chest high, only extending, hop, hop, and kick it, left, kick it, right, final ones, Final kick, and that's it. Okay, turn your step. Four more exercises. The next one is that crunch. Really squeeze your abs together while lifting the knee up. Ready, and go, hop. Bring the chest towards your knee, and your knee towards your chest. And really squeeze those abs, holding the weights, hop. Left, marching right, pull that knee with power, come on, and crunch, yes, that's it, come on, 20 more seconds, hop, open, when you step back, bring that upper body up, so you can make a full crunch move, 10 more seconds, up, and crunch it, knee up, chest down, final ones, one more, and march on spot. All right, catch your breath a little. The next one is that step on and over with the circles, right and left. So make the big circles, stretch out your arm, keep it slightly bent, of course, but make them big. So on and over. And at the end, you pull towards your shoulder. Ha, that's it. So no small circles, no cheating. Come on, stretch out your arm. Make them big. Hop. Tuck the belly in. On and over. Circle, pull, circle, pull. That's it. 20 seconds. Come on, lift up your chest. Keep that upper body straight up. Don't lower your arms down. Keep on circling. Right and left. Big ones. Final seconds. On to the right, to the left. One more time to right, and march on spot. Well done, two more exercises. We're going to continue to the side steps with the reverse flies. So slowly bend the knees, back is straight, tuck your belly in, and tap it, come on. Hop, hop. Your arms are slightly bent. When you make that fly, bring the shoulder blades together. Hop, up. Lift up your chest, that's it, and tap it. Stay down on your legs, working your quads as well. Come on, tap it, tap it. And 20 seconds. Don't slow down, you've got this. Come on, fly, fly, and tap. Left, right, 
keep your back straight. Come on, final 10 seconds. Fly and fly. Half, left, right, last one, and come on, up. Okay, over to the final exercise. So keep moving. The final one is the pec deck, open up. So keep the weights up, 90 degree angle, and there we go. On, close your arms, open. That's it, on, open. Elbows stay, on shoulder and chest high. Don't lower down. Come on, finish strong. Squeeze your elbows together, working your chest. Tuck your belly in, keep your back straight. That's it, come on, final one, 20 seconds. Ha! Don't think about the burn on your shoulder, just keep the weights up, keep stepping. That's it, 10 more seconds. And close, open, close, open, final ones. One more, and now lower the weights. Well done. You don't need the weights anymore. Turn your step over to the cool down because you need it and you deserve it. So march on spot, or make side step, but slow it down and focus on re-catching your breath, lowering that heart rate down. So I want you to take a deep breath in, lift up your chest, and then out. And slow it down, yes. Another one, come on, breathe in. And out, that's it. Okay, come on, side step. And while we do that, rotate the shoulder slowly. Lift up and press down. And focus on re-catching that breath, lowering that heart rate down. Take your time to recover before we're going to add some stretches. And reverse the shoulder roll to the front. Keep moving, don't stand still yet. But go slow. That's it. And the last one. That's it. Okay, now stretch out your left arm. Grab your right behind. And what we're going to do is pull that arm down, lifting the chest up. So pull your left arm towards that right side. Lift your chest up. And you can feel that stretch on your chest and a little bit of your shoulder. So pull and lift the chest up. Feeling that stretch on your shoulder and your chest. Pull it. Maybe you can see your arm on the right side. Pull it as hard as you can. That's it. And swing over to the other side. Stretch out your right arm. Pull with left. Keep your hips center, your chest center, so do not twist in because that doesn't work. Keep your uh, chest frontal. Pull your arm down, lift up your chest and feel that stretch. That's it, just hold it a few more seconds. The shoulders have to do a lot of work, holding those weights up all the time. And release. Swing your arms. And now it's time to stretch the lower body. What we're going to do is stretching the calf. So what we're going to do is we use the step for that stretch. Come on, your left of your right toes are on the edge of the step and then bend your standing leg and press your heel down. So you can feel that stretch on your calf. Just hold it on the right side. And of course, we're going to switch, doing the same stretch on the other side. So press your heel down with your toes on the edge of the step. And then come on up, switch over to the other side. Left toes are going on the edge. Bend your right leg and just lower your heel down. Feeling that stretch, hold your balance. That's it. Just drop your heel, feel that stretch. That's it. And come on up, shake out, stepping off. What we're going to do is a wide forward fold. Point your toes a little bit to the outside so you can feel the stretch on your hamstring and on your inner thighs. Make the stretch as big as you want. What we're going to do is a forward fold. So bring that upper body in between your legs. Try to touch the floor and feeling that stretch on your hamstrings, inner thighs a little bit. Releasing the tension out of your lower back. So try to bring your chest as close to your legs as you can. 
If you can't touch the floor, just grab your knee, knees or your calves and try to pull yourself a little closer. And if you can't feel a stretch, of course, go wider and bring the chest down. Come on. Stretch it up. And then bend your knees. Roll up. You're going to do one final stretch and that's for the quads. So find that balance. Grab your right, left leg. Knees together. That heel is touching your butt if you can, of course. And you feel that stretch on your quadriceps. So find that balance. Press the hip forward, upper body straight up, and pull the knee back. And then until you can feel that stretch on your quadricep, because we did a lot of steps. Make sure you're standing like a slightly bent. Don't lock your knees. And release, shake it out. Over to the other side. Find your balance again. Now your left is slightly bent. Knees together, press the hips forward, and pull your heel towards your bed. Feeling that stretch. On your quadricep, the front side of your leg. That's it, just pull. Hold that stretch. Enjoy it, recover from this workout. And that's it. Okay, final shake, releasing the tension. Shake out your shoulders, and that's it. Very well done, you finished this. Toning cardio steps workout. So give yourself that well-deserved thumbs up. Be proud of yourself and I wish you a great, great day and I hope to see you next time in another workout. Bye.